who's wearing number 10 was playing his first match since his award as the professionals player of the year Hughes had another fine game but this attack fizzled out Charlton regular and successful fighters against relegation with only seven minutes gone they took the lead from this attack it's Robert Lee driving in the cross and as Paul Williams goes down a penalty awarded against Steve Bruce the infringement was off the ball because, as the replay shows, there's daylight between the two central figures in the incident as the cross arrives. Mark Reed slotted in the penalty, Charlton's first in the first division this season. Brian Robson was revving up for England's World Cup tie against Albania at Wembley. This is Robson's real party piece, carrying on his run to be first to the cross and only Boulder's agility preventing another typical goal from the United captain. But Robson's team still trailing and the picture seemed even rosier for Charlton here when Paul Mortimer arrived at the far post and casually slipped the ball past Jim Layton. But the celebrations were short-lived. The goal disallowed, Mike Duxbury hurt and needing running repairs to a cut head. Mortimer penalised for dangerous play, so it's still 1-0. The Charlton kept up the tempo and Bruce was pressed into a back pass which had Leighton scrambling. Manchester United with nothing left to play for this season except their pride which has been dented recently. They went into this game four matches without a win. They pressed strongly for an equaliser. Brian McClare leading the way. Then Hughes with a shot that's blocked. And finally Beardsmore creating more work for Boulder. Into the second half and Charlton forced to defend again. They go back from their tenancy here at Selhurst Park to their traditional home at the Valley next season. Their dream is to return still a Division I club. Under manager Lenny Lawrence, they do play eye-catching football, but haven't scored the goals that their approach work deserves. Reed rifling his shot over the bar here. And look at the quality in this move, an exquisite pass from Carl Lieburn. Robert Lee away, and Williams so close to the cross. Charlton's extra sense of purpose significant now and Steve McKenzie the next to seek the insurance of a second goal. Nervous moments still before Charlton's win could be secure, only their fourth at home this season. One more save from Boulder required from Beardsmore. A precious victory for Charlton Athletic, 1-0.